Hello, in this quick screencast I want to introduce you to LilyPond in NetBeans. LilyPond is a notation format for music. You can see here this is the syntax, there's a special syntax which when you run LilyPond on the command line or via the LilyPond tools application or some other LilyPond GUI editor of some kind, the output from LilyPond is a PDF file that looks like this in this particular case for this particular set of uh, music notation. If I now go into NetBeans, I can create a new LilyPond file. So here is a new template for getting started. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take this content here and, and convert it ourselves to see if we do get what you see here. So it's actually called Fibonacci. Fine. We'll call it that. Click finish, and here you can see we have a file, and I'm going to just copy this directly from this Wikipedia page and paste it into the file. And I'm pasting it right now, but I'm not saving it yet because I want to show you what happens when I save it. What you also see right now is that there isn't a special syntax coloring. But that'll come, and uh, that'll come. So right now, the point is just to show you the conversion of this to the um, to a PDF that contains the the actual score, as you saw in the Wikipedia page. So I've pasted in the syntax from Wikipedia. Now I press Save, either via this button or by pressing Control S, and then you can see that a process kicks off, and we can see the output in the output window. And at the end, we can see that uh, success, compilation successfully completed. And we go to the visual tab. And there we can see exactly what we saw in Wikipedia. So the conversion is complete and has been rendered within NetBeans. And there's some handy buttons here. For example, very useful, we can cover up the entire space available. And we can see our score much more easily than before. So let's go back now, and now imagine we're doing some more editing and tweaking and uh, etc. For example, we decided the composer should be more than just this guy, but someone else as well. So, and Mary uh, Smith. And now I press save. And then I have press save. So now the, the conversion process kicks off again. I go back to the visual tab, and there I can see, and Mary Smith. So the same goes for the notes. Any changes you make, whenever save is pressed, you will see the change as soon as you switch to the to the visual tab. And that's it. Um, so the next steps are, first of all, um, maybe not first of all, but at some point to have syntax coloring for the for the special notation. But also how this has been implemented here is this is not purely a PDF reader. I actually have here the LilyPond tool, which means we can um, you can see there's a cursor. There's a cross cursor right now, but when I'm actually on a note, you can see there's a hand cursor. And there is functionality built into this for actually selecting notes and dragging um, them up and down the scale, which will put them in a different place. And we can pick up that change and then render back into the uh, music notation, that the, the visual change that we've made. So there, there can be bidirectional, um, bidirectional functionality like that. So right now, that doesn't work yet, so you can see that the actual moving can be done, but when we do the drop, there's an error message. So this is one area that where work needs to be done to, to fix that. But you can see that the basic infrastructure is there for creating a really powerful music-related tool um, and integrate it into NetBeans. Watch the space for more information in the coming weeks about working with music and NetBeans via LilyPond.